Hey everybody, how's it going? Sean the King here, and I'm here to bring you my review for Bleach Chapter 504. I do apologize about the lateness. The chapter came out, but I was at work. You know, I got to make that money. But I'm definitely here to bring you guys my thoughts on this chapter, so let's jump into it. All right, well, um, <coughs> to, um, this chapter was so-so for me. Again, um, I'll put this out here now. You know, these past couple of chapters, for these past couple of months, have been fantastic in general but the direction that they're starting to take is starting to piss me off and I'll explain what I mean first you know we had this great chapter where Ichigo finally defeats um, Kyrgyz I believe his name was you know he gets through the Garganta he's heading towards Soul Society and he gets trapped into the ball we all remember this and then we see some figure come out of the blue slice him right down the middle and then go after Udahara. So we're all like pumped, like, oh my god, it's Grim Giles, Grim Giles, Grim Giles. Then we're like, okay, next week we'll find out. Nope. Next week we jump we jump back to Soul Society and we deal with the whole Biakio situation with him supposedly dying or not being dead, whatever the case may be. Then we get another great scene where we see Kampachi Zaraki hit the field and he's tearing shit up, you know, killing Stern Ritters left and right. He takes down three, and then he goes after Buckbeard, and, you know, he's slashing at Buckbeard. Chapter ends, we're like, oh my god, next week we're going to get, you know, uh, Kenpachi versus Buckbeard. No. Now we get a whole chapter based off of Gin Raisu, you know, the head captain commander of the uh, Sirite. And to me, it's, it's, it's almost a cop-out. It's like a troll. Cause, you know, I'm like, I'm like, it's already bad enough that you haven't revealed Grimjow yet. Then we finally get Kenpachi versus Buckbeard, and then now you're skipping that too and bringing us to the shit. Again, overall, towards the end of the chapter, I was satisfied, but in general, I really felt like they could have spent half of that chapter on Genraisu, and those chapters doing the the the, uh, the flashback, focused on instead of showing us all that, just showed us Kenpachi versus Buckbeard. That's kind of how I feel. But let's jump into the review. Okay, so Genraisu, of course, is facing off against the Stern Ritter who killed his subordinate, and he unleashes his Bankai, and his Bankai is a, the ability to control weather, namely electricity. And uh, what, I've, what I actually gathered from that actual battle is that even though the Stern Ritters can take your Bankai, they do not automatically have the ability to use it with the same strength and intensity as the original user. Because what happens is, is that the Stern Ritter, I guess, I'm trying to remember his, regardless, he uses the attack on um, Genraisu and hits him square on and hits him with the lightning attack and literally thinks he's frying him. And, you know, um, Yamamoto, he pretty much just breaks through and is like, you know, Sabisuke's power was never this weak. And, you know, he literally just slashes him and burns him to ashes with his sword. Rujin Jaka. And literally this dude is just like half his body is disintegrating. I mean this is some awesome shit that we're looking at. Like the artwork in this the artwork in this chapter was fantastic. We even got this again, like I said, the flashback wasn't completely bad because again we got to see a younger Genraisu and you know we got to see Sabis Gay as again as a younger um, person and again some of the artwork just in you know showing his anger as he's battling this guy, just like how he just cut him down like it was nothing again this is like top-notch art here and again like i said it's it, it was a, it was a okay chapter i could have done with a maybe a few less panels from the flashback you probably could have handled that in one page seriously you know show him how he's young show some he's scared he's young he has his bankai it's not strong okay we get it so again you know like i said overall like i said this 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 arc is fantastic I love the way things are going. Let's just get back to what we want to get back to. Give me Kenpachi versus Buckbeard and give or give me Grimjow or whoever it is that's been revealed. Because I swear to God, if they try to switch to like another group of, of people fighting the Soul Society, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, so, you know, it's, 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 it's put up a shut up time. You guys gave a whole dedicated chapter to getting right to uh, Yamamoto. Now y'all need to give me a whole page, a whole chapter dedicated to Buckbeard versus Kenpachi. I need it. 
But again, of course, you know you know how this works. I want to know what you guys thought. Do you agree with me? Uh, do you feel like they um, should have definitely gave us some more Kampachi here in this chapter? But again, you know, what did you think of the chapter in general? Uh, just comment in the section below. You know how that works. Uh, if you could, thumbs up the video. Don't have to, but it always helps. And definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel. That's how you get the updates. As well as clicking on the bottom and checking out my Facebook fan page. The videos will go up there first. And you will also learn about any new news that will be going on in the anime cartoon world from my Facebook fan page. So click on it, hit the like button, and I would appreciate it. Show up the king. Have an awesome day.